Hi, I'm Charlotte. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my extremely messy home. This is so embarrassing, but I really let it go this week. And I just thought it would be really fun to do an ultimate spring cleaning, very dramatic before and after. So let's dive in. First of all, my entryway is a disaster. We got a ton of deliveries and I just dumped them and didn't put anything away. The kitchen is crazy. I had a card table for extra space for a big cooking project. And I was just literally letting things pile up because I knew I was gonna do this video and I figured, why not? Living room, totally same situation. Bunch of projects I was doing. We had also gotten back from a trip, had strep throat, then we were quarantined because coronavirus has shut down Los Angeles. So this living room just looks like it threw up basically. I was in the middle of so much and it was time to clean it all up from top to bottom. And in the bedroom, I just, I don't even know what to tell you. I mean, bedding everywhere, clothes everywhere. Like I said, we've been sick a couple weeks before this was strep throat. So like all of the sick supplies are out still. And I had sanitized the house since then, but I really hadn't been able to do a deep spring cleaning and that's what I was really craving. So that's why I let it get really dramatic for this video. And today we're gonna tackle the kitchen, the entry, the living room, the bedroom, all of this good stuff. So my first move is always to get the laundry started so that that can be multitasking. And I'm going to strip the bed of all of the bedding, sheets, pillows, mattress pad, comforter, duvet. I'm even taking the casing off of the pillows and anything that can't be stripped down to go in the wash, I'll be spraying down with the seventh generation disinfectant spray. It's all natural, but it kills 99.99% .99 of germs and viruses. And I'll also be using this baking soda, which is of course natural and naturally cleansing and deodorizing. So I always use that. And I'm just spraying the mattress and both sides of the pillows with that spray. And then I'm gonna take them outside and beat them and leave them in the fresh spring air to air out. And then I'm also sprinkling the mattress with baking soda for deodorizing. And heading into the laundry room, the first thing I'm doing is just wiping down the washer with pure vinegar. I like to use vinegar because it's okay to get on your laundry. Um, but as you can see, I washed a really linty <laughs> towel and rug in here, so it really needed to be wiped out. And now I'm just starting the wash with all the bedding and getting ready to go. I just cannot even think when my apartment is this messy. It, it was like a project to let it get this messy and now it's obviously a huge project to get clean. But I just, I have to start by just decluttering, putting things away, especially right here in the entry. As soon as you come in to be faced with this mess, it's like, ah. So I'm just happily putting things away in their homes, breaking down these boxes to recycle and finally unpacking the groceries and deliveries and things like that that have been accumulating over the past crazy weeks around here. Turning to the kitchen, I had put the card table away so I could actually walk in my own kitchen. And one of the first steps I always like to do is just go through and pick up trash. It's just such an easy way to instantly declutter. So I was grabbing the trash and the recycling, putting things away that have a specific home they need to go in and clearing the counters so that I can sink, so that I have space to work. And soon I can start really spring cleaning from the roof down. So I'm sanitizing this section of the counter to put clean dishes on because I did run the dishwasher before this at least. And just emptying everything out here before it gets placed in its home. Next, I'm going to completely sanitize and clean out the dishwasher. I found all this crud in the drain, which is so gross. This is the cleaning vinegar I'm using. I get it at the dollar store just because it's like the cheapest way to get vinegar. And I'm filling the dishwasher detergent areas, which have a lot of caked on residue, which is just disgusting. And I'm gonna let that soak and also run a load on the hottest setting with vinegar to clean the dishwasher. And now I'm just truly starting at the tippy top of the room and working my way down. I think that's the best cleaning philosophy. So any dirt or dust or grime that you loosen up will eventually get cleaned as you work your way down. So first of all, I have these twinkly lights above my cabinets in here and a few of them burnt out. So I'm going through and figuring out which strands need to be fixed or replaced taking those out and dusting. There was so much dust up here. It was so, so bad. I feel like a million pounds lighter now that I got this out. And I just know, even though it's out of sight, the top of the cabinets is clean. The lights can twinkle all the better now. And I love my cozy kitchen lighting. 
So since I was up here standing on my counters, which by the way, be careful if you try this at home, always be safe. I decided it'd be the best time to get these really high upper cabinets. So I'm emptying the contents of this one out and dusting the inside of the cabinet and then replacing everything more organized and also getting the top of the fridge as well. This is where I store Ziploc bags and cooking paper supplies, things like that. So I'm just lifting it all up out of the way again so I can see how dusty it is yet again. It really needed it and I'm wiping it down just with Pledge and a paper towel for now because my microfiber towels were in the wash at the time, but this is just coming up so satisfying. There was so much dust and debris up here and I love knowing that these out of reach surfaces are now all clean in my home. Like that's so gross, good riddance. <laughs> And I'm just gonna continue making my way around the top of the room. I also got the ceiling, the corners, the light fixture and everything so that any dust from there on up was officially taken care of. And I put everything back neatly on top of the fridge and that section was done. So I can move on to this other upper cabinet, same drill, cleaning out my oils and vinegars and I have like a little medicine cabinet here, so getting this upper stuff while I was nice and high up to reach it, and then I could come on down and tackle the rest of the room. So while I do that, same procedure all around all of my cabinets, I'm gonna leave you with some music, upbeat and fun, a little cleaning motivation of your own if hopefully you're inspired to tackle spring cleaning as well. I think it's the perfect time to do this and it's so satisfying. You'll feel a million times better after it's done. So let's just crank up the jams and clean. Something about the way you move. Makes me wanna feel your groove. Something about the way you dress, baby. Got me feeling like you miss, baby. We should still have fun. Go we say with up. Cause I just wanna get down with you. The final last time I can call you mine. Once more than Just as a side note, I love this utensil drawer divider that I have. I can put a link to it in the description box, but it's something I found on Amazon and I just was so satisfied with it because it slides to adjust to fit the size of your drawer. I just, I hate it when the thing is like bouncing around in the drawer, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I love getting all of these crumbs out. I took the drawer divider out and thoroughly hand washed and dried it and now just putting my utensils in. So all the crumbs are gone and it just gives me a chance to kind of see if I even need all of these serving spoons and what the best amount to have out is so that I'm not overcrowding the drawer with things we're not even using. So spring cleaning is a beautiful thing for decluttering. It's the perfect time. Now, it's probably not surprising to those who know me, but I always, 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 always use dish gloves to protect my hands and my manicure. Having a manicure is like a great source of joy in life, if you ask me, so I try to protect my hands and nails. And I really like these dish gloves. I can also link to these. Um, they are like, have a soft lining inside, which I always look for because I don't like that rubbery feeling dish glove inside. <laughs> Um, but honestly, these make such a difference. If you don't use dish gloves, I really recommend giving it a shot. It will make you dread the dishes less. It just makes the whole experience more pleasant. And these are cute and they have good coverage. And like I said, they're soft inside and you can put some lotion on and it's like a little mini beauty treatment because your hands are getting like a warm lotion bath. I don't know. I just think it's so much better this way.
And the time has definitely come to move on to the fridge and the freezer, taking out all of the food, ice packs, my ice maker, so I can completely wipe everything down. I like to use, again, just pure vinegar. It's food safe. I feel comfortable using it around my food and it gets all of the crud out of here. Um, I'm not defrosting it and going that hardcore, but I am getting all of the crumbs, all of the like freezer burn lurking in the corners, everything. And this is also a great time to reorganize, make sure you don't have any food that uh, needs to be tossed or expired. And I like to have a very organized fridge. I use these little clear containers in my freezer and in my fridge and they help organize so much. I can put a link for those on Amazon. But basically just any kind of little containers will do. Having things compartmentalized and into little sections like the frozen fruits together, the frozen veggies together, it just, it helps so much. So it's very calming to me when I open the freezer and see not only is it crumb free, but it's all clean. And I'm also of course going to hand wash and soak down the ice bin and let that dry and then I'll make fresh ice later. And moving on to the fridge, same procedure. Oh my gosh, it is so jam-packed. I usually never let my fridge get crazy like this. And it's also like way less healthy food than we normally have because we've been off of our healthy eating meal plan while we were traveling and sick and then just life got so hectic. So I don't know about where you are, but out here in LA, it's very hard to get normal groceries right now with all of the coronavirus stuff going on. So I'm just grateful for this food in my fridge and I'm going to get it all organized and ready to fuel us for however long we're stuck at home. So that's what spring cleaning is all about. It's a fresh start and it feels so good. And I'm just wiping everything down again with vinegar, taking out all of the shelves that I can take out, all of the drawers, and you guys know the drill. Just getting that fridge clean. Was working as fast as possible because I didn't have the food on ice. I had just simply set it on the counter to quickly work through my fridge. And let me tell you, that was some motivation to clean really fast. But I hand washed all of my drawers and organizers that I was talking about, um, which is the best way to make sure there's like nothing sticky spilled in there. There's no crumbs that aren't wiping up or anything like that. And then it's just so satisfying when you put it back and the fridge is like perfect factory level brand new clean it's so sparkly and amazing things back and it is organized and I just have to say it's so rewarding to keep your fridge organized obviously I had let mine go but this is usually what I strive for if you group similar products together it will just look so much nicer and if you put things in containers that keeps it from just looking like food run amok and it's actually calming and soothing to open your fridge so moving on to the outside of the fridge, I like to use this Wyman stainless steel spray for wiping down, getting rid of the streaks and the fingerprints and it works awesome. A little bit goes a long way with just a microfiber cloth and it really makes stainless steel shine. It gets all of those fingerprints off and it just leaves it looking again, just like that factory new, like feel good, clean. Next up, the microwave. It's pretty crummy in here, but luckily we haven't had any like spaghetti sauce explosions recently. It's just run of the mill cleaning, taking out anything I can to hand wash and spraying it all down with vinegar like I like to use and get it nice and shiny. Through this, they just keep on 
dancing as one You and me are moving Make sure we get through this for the counters and stove top, I like to use Miss Myers. This is the rose scent, and I have to say, it is the absolute best scent by her that I've tried. And I'm hit or miss on rose scents, but it is so good. It just makes the whole kitchen smell like a garden. And I really love it, especially just this time of year. I like I've been craving, <laughs> like it makes you crave cleaning your counters. I'll leave it at that. And I like that it's more natural ingredients since this is a food workspace. So time warping now back to last night, I actually made a paste out of baking soda and water to clean the oven. And as you can see, there's some like burnt baked on food at the bottom and it's just kind of your typical dirty oven scene. I'm definitely eager to address this. And it's always so much easier if you kind of keep your oven clean as you go before the mess just really turns into cement. So I made a paste just kind of eyeballing some baking soda and water and painted it onto all of these surfaces to let it sit overnight, taking out the racks to hand wash with dish detergent. And leaving the baking soda to set really seems to help kind of loosen some of that caked on burnt food. So then I just spray it with vinegar and that chemical reaction also really helps to kind of loosen everything up so you can wipe it clean. And again, I just love using vinegar and baking soda because they are food ingredients and I don't have to worry about nasty, harsh, toxic chemicals in here. Um, sometimes it gets so bad you really just have to use oven cleaner, but as long as I keep up with it fairly often, the baking soda and the vinegar does the trick. I spray it on, I let it kind of interact for a little bit and loosen up and then I just scrub it all off. I'm also removing this bottom shelf so that I can scrub it more easily and so I can vacuum out the crumbs that fell down into the, like the filter area beneath. So obviously be very cautious if you are dissecting your oven at all, but this is a great way to really get that satisfying, clean, deep spring cleaning where you just know all the crumbs have been annihilated. <laughs> And so I'm using my little handheld vacuum for that and that's a great way to be sure you get it all. And then we're going under the oven, taking out that drawer that always gets so filled with crumbs, vacuuming the drawer, vacuuming under the drawer, and putting all the pans back nice and organized once it's clean. So I am ready to bake it up after this. I am so excited to do more baking projects this spring and summer and feel like it's a fresh start. All the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it like acting like we were fiction in a book cause it's the way it goes and i will never know why you let me go look to the left look to the right nothing can stop me in the night like i'm leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain and as I'm making my way around, just completely clearing the counters, wiping everything down and putting it all back, all shiny and new. Another thing I like to do is run some vinegar through the Keurig to help descale it. I find that's a really easy way to stay on top of the coffee pot, keep it fresh and yummy. And I'm already cleaning with vinegar, so it's like, why not? We are already here. <laughs> Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff 
that's one of the final steps and most important steps when I clean the kitchen is to shine the sink. I love the fly lady. She is my cleaning guru and she taught me well to keep your sink clean and shiny. And so that's what I'm doing as a final step, just washing it with dish soap. And then I will also polish it with a little bit of Windex. And that seems to keep my sink really shiny. Um, I'll also be feeding some citrus peels down my disposal because that keeps it smelling so nice. And it's just a natural, easy, cheap way to keep that smelling good and keep it working its best. We have finally made it all the way from the very, very top of this room to the very, very bottom. And I'm just sweeping and mopping. Honestly, as part of spring cleaning, I would normally get down on like my hands and knees and really give the floor a scrub. But I was pretty beat already by this point in the day. So I'm just using my Swiffer wet mop. I feel like this gets the job done. It's not my ultimate favorite way to clean floors, but as you can see, I got lots of dirt up and the floors looked super sparkly afterwards, so I was happy. So let's do a really satisfying tap to clean. This was the before, it was a disaster zone, and tap tap, it's clean, and it makes me feel so happy. This kitchen has been totally overhauled, every single cabinet, drawer, everything. So this is officially my happy place again. I'm so glad the kitchen is back to its best. So finally moving back into the bedroom, I needed to vacuum off this baking soda, which had been soaking for hours now, and making sure the mattress was nice and clean. It's also always great to vacuum your mattress. And I occasionally take the cover off of my mattress. This is from Ikea. So the cover just zips on, and I will put the whole cover in the wash as well, and I had done that recently. So this was just the perfect pick-me-up for spring to get the mattress all fresh and ready for new bedding and the rest of the room ready for a major overhaul. And before I put the bedding on, I went ahead and jumped up to stand on the bed so I could dust this big wall hanging, as well as the ceiling and the corners and the light fixtures, and just that same philosophy starting at the top, working my way down, dusting my bed frame, my lamps, my bedside tables, everything that I can possibly clean is getting cleaned as I go. Before I put the bedding on the bed, it's done washing, but I'm going to indulge in almost like a guilty pleasure, which is to iron. I like to at least iron my pillowcases. I remember when I was a little girl, my mom like just rarely, occasionally would do that for me if she had time and always felt like a little princess or something sleeping on a crisp pillowcase. And I knew she really loved me that she would make the time to do that when she could. So that always stuck with me as an adult and I just, I, I, there's something about a crisp pillowcase. So I will usually try to do those. I don't do like the whole sheets or the whole duvet cover or anything like that because life, <laughs> but I'll do what I can. And I actually find ironing to be really like soothing and de-stressing. It's very satisfying to see the wrinkles go away and to put like a nice crisp crease in everything. I just, I find it nice and I'll put a movie on the background usually and do our ironing. So just kind of the bare minimum for today, but enough that the bed will look a little bit nicer once it's made. We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sadness. When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way, but 
So I washed the comforter and I washed the duvet cover. And I have to say, putting the cover back on is probably one of the worst chores ever. But the best method I found for it is the burrito method, where you put the cover on, you tie it on inside out, and then you roll it up into like a little burrito, and then you shake it out and everything winds up right side out and it all kind of works itself out. It's better than crawling in the duvet, which is what I used to try to do, but no matter what, it's just not my favorite chore. Um, but once it's done, it feels so nice to have clean sheets and it makes the bed look so much crisper and more inviting. Now that the bedding is all out of the wash, I'm going to come back into the living room and kind of do a changing of the guard with what I can throw in the washer. I like to keep the washing machine and the dishwasher running as much as possible. Also, of course, always time for a puppy cuddle break, <laughs> but um, that way the machines are like doing their work in the background while I'm doing other things. So I strip these pillowcases and threw them in the wash so they'll be ready when it's time to clean in there. And then coming back in the bedroom, I'm just going to work my way around the room kind of clockwise, I guess, um, starting with this dog bed. So I took the dog beds out to throw in the wash and then I'm just vacuuming all the pet hair out of this dog crate and I'm gonna put it outside to air out and get some sunshine. And the time has finally come to tackle these blinds and windows, a key part of spring cleaning. And I've tried every method for this, and I think the thing that works best for me is just a microfiber cloth with some pledge on it. Just good old fashioned dusting, standby. It really makes like the dirt on the window blinds cling to the cloth. And they don't seem to attract dust as easily afterward either. So I'm just getting every single blind both sides with that. And these are like faux wood blinds, so they're a little bit easier to clean with those wide slats. But no matter what, I just feel like cleaning the blinds is a struggle. Like the struggle is real. I feel your pain, but you'll be so much happier once you do it and you just, every time you look at the window, it's like, ah, fresh spring cleaning goodness has occurred. So I am just determined to get it done. Nobody's like us. When people see us, they know. Uh -uh. I feel so much for you that I don't know what to do. <gasps> Cause someone was before you, and someone let me go. This time I must know for sure. Cause someone was before you, and someone let me go. But I just need to be sure. Some say love's not for the bitter ones. Some say love will. Also using a microfiber cloth and pledge on the baseboards. They weren't too dirty because I did this recently, but that combo just really does the trick with those dust grainy areas. And on my TV screens, my laptops, things like that, I like to use the Windex electronics wipes. I don't know how necessary that is, but I had picked up this pack and I just figured I might as well use them. Um, and I will say they make the screen look really crystal clean and clear, it's really nice. And 
last but not least, I am just vacuuming in here. We have an old Dyson vacuum that no joke we got as a wedding gift, like I guess that was almost nine years ago. Um, but I have to say it does the job and it works great. So once it's time to replace it, which might be soon-ish, I will be getting a new one. But I think it does a really awesome job and gets that perfect carpet pattern. So yay for that. And the bedroom is all done. So flashback to this horrifying before photo and tap, tap. All clean, all shiny, perfectly vacuumed and dust free and every surface is perfect. So I'm just so happy to know that it has been springified in here and I will sleep so well now on this bed that's been sanitized like top to bottom and the windows all crystal clear and everything how I like it. So we have one more area to tackle in this section of spring cleaning and that is this living room. Oh my gosh, I just can't even get over how dramatic this before shot is, but it just had imploded on itself. So first step, always going through, taking out the trash, putting the clutter away that has a home in another room, just to clear out like the less items that I can have in here, the easier of course it'll be to clean. So getting that stuff scared away, first and foremost. This is my little craft corner here. This is where I like to get cozy in the evenings. So I'm just taking a moment to sort through all of my supplies and have that better organized and have projects that I'm working on easily accessible because there's nothing like a cozy spring evening when you just get to enjoy your clean house and work on projects that you enjoy. And speaking of hobbies, this is Nate's Batman case that he collects. I left this for him to take everything out and dust and polish the inside, but I did go ahead and Windex the outside while I was working around this area of the room. Um, and by the way, he just wasn't here when I was doing a lot of this, but he also engages in <laughs> spring cleaning. He's actually so good at vacuuming, he makes the perfect pattern on the carpet. So I always love it when he helps out, but for now I'm leaving a few things that I know he can do or that I need like his strength to help me move the couch and get some of the like under furniture things later when I can with him. And to clean the couch right now, I'm using these seventh generation disinfecting wipes. Same deal as the spray that I showed earlier. It does say it kills 99.99% .99 of germs. I guess because of the times I should mention, I don't know for sure if that would kill coronavirus. I just like to use it because it is more natural and the dogs cuddle on the couch and things like that. Um, so that is kind of my go-to. It also has worked really well with whatever material this Ikea couch is. I don't know, it's like a pleather, but um, I also have been wiping the couch down with Clorox or alcohol or hydrogen peroxide because those things do kill coronavirus. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm also dust bustering the couch. It's just so crazy what falls in between the cushions, but these cushions are not removable. So the best I can do is put that attachment on my dust buster and just really reach down into all the crevices and try and find any pennies or crumbs that are lurking. And all of this couch bedding is clean. Now I washed the blankets, the pillowcases, I sanitized the pillows and aired them out in the fresh air and sunshine. And now I'm just kind of reassembling and lint rolling and putting it all back the way I like it. Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go.
And with the blinds all clean in here again too, I wanted to tackle the windows. And I was hoping to take the screen out and clean it, but we live on an upper story and I was kind of scared that I was gonna drop it down on people below or something while I was trying to wrestle with the screen. So ultimately I wasn't able to clean the outside of the windows or the screen, which is frustrating, but that's just kind of apartment life, I guess. Moving on to give my plants some TLC. They have really not been happy this winter. So I hope spring and summer are good for them. I love having house plants, but I'm just not a natural green thumb, so I'm learning. And I'm taking down some vestiges of Valentine's Day decor here. I still had some roses up and just going to dust everything off, cleaning the screen with those electronic swipes and getting in this entertainment stand and all that good stuff. Before that time, but I just knew the weed and the... You took it, you, you took it, took away my loneliness, so I know it, I, I know it, you're making me wholehearted. Together, two together, together is always better. I don't want to be parted, you're making me wholehearted. You're making me, you're making me Coming to the other side of the living room, we have these bar stools, which are from Amazon, and they are really satisfying to polish up with Windex because that shiny chrome just looks so nice. Like you can see your whole reflection in it. So getting those all clean top to bottom, and then also this record stand that's over here, just to kind of complete the whole living room space. And then last but not least, of course, we'll vacuum. Me off the battleground. know this is gonna be a good one before and after I can't wait to see the difference this was the shocking before scene and tap tap after so clean of course it's dark out by now we have cleaned our butts off today but it just looks so much cozier and I just can't wait to like curl up and enjoy this clean atmosphere and environment it's so much more soothing and peaceful and calm and I'm just so much happier to be in my space now that it's all spring cleaned. Yeah, I can carry all that you've got to every heart is not a lie. I will put out all of the fire. We stumble and fall. Tell me all of your lies I will put out all of 
If it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be your So one final tap to clean. Here was the before, if you recall how awful the entryway situation was. And now tap, tap, all clean and shiny. Everything has been dusted and polished. So I'm just way more at <laughs> peace when I come in my home, thank goodness. And the kitchen still looks so nice and shiny. And we are officially done with everything we set out to spring clean in this video. You all are troopers for sticking with me and I'm so proud of you. I hope you've got something accomplished that you feel really proud of yourself for. And these are tough times, so be sweet and gentle to yourself. You deserve it and you deserve a space that makes you feel happy and calm and peaceful and clean and all of that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you would like. I would love to have you around here for more fun videos to come. I have so much ideas, so many things I want to do for quarantine content. So I will see you then. Bye.